In this problem, we are given a function z equal to a or b and c, the whole thing negated. We are then asked to produce a CMOS circuit that implements the function z. We know that our CMOS circuits consist of a pull-down circuit made up purely of NFETs, and it is called pull-down because if it is on, it connects the output to ground to produce a low or zero output. We also have a pull-up circuit made up purely of PFETs, and it is called a pull-up because if it is on, it connects the output to VDD to produce a high or one output. If Z equals not of A or B and C, then not C equals A or B and C. To draw the pull-down portion of the circuit, we take a look at when the function produces Z equal to zero. This occurs when A or B and C equals 1. So the pull-down circuitry should be on when A or B and C equals 1. So A or B equals 1 and C equals 1. This means that we want a parallel AB in series with C circuit for our pull-down. The parallel AB corresponds to A or B equal to 1, because if either A or B equals 1, then we have a path from Z to the bottom of the parallel circuitry. Then, if C is also 1, we complete our path between Z and ground. So, if either A equals 1 and C equals 1, or B equals 1 and C equals 1, Z is pulled down to ground and produces a zero output. To generate our pull-up, we simply replace parallel circuits with series and series with parallel. This will ensure that whenever our pull-down circuit is off, our pull-up circuit is on. So our pull-up circuitry is series AB in parallel with C. To convince ourselves that this is in fact the correct pull-up circuit, we know that the pull-up must make Z equal to 1. Z equals 1 if A or B and C, the whole thing negated, equals 1, or A or B and C equals 0. This is true when either A or B equals 0 or C equals 0. This means that either A equals 0 and B equals 0, or just C equals 0. Pull-up circuits use PFETs, which are on when the input is low or 0. So the equivalent circuit for this is series AB ORed with C, which is equal to series AB in parallel with C.